Our coast-to-coast -coast ghost hunt continues to the town of Mansfield, Ohio. 80 miles from Cleveland down Highway 71, there looms a most haunting edifice, Mansfield Reformatory. Outside, it bears an eerie resemblance to a Transylvanian castle. Inside, this abandoned jail is a horror show of cramped cells, peeling paint, and rusted bars. It's considered the most haunted prison in the country. That just scared the crap out of me. Where a life sentence goes on into the afterlife. This is the most haunted place that I've ever been. Local lore refers to this place as Dracula's castle. At certain times, everybody hears voices when they're in here alone. After closing in 1990, Mansfield was open to visitors. Hundreds of ghost hunters willingly enter these cells every year to get scared straight. And they aren't disappointed. I'm shaking so bad. Something was here. I don't know what it was, but there is definitely a presence here. Founded a century ago, Mansfield was a repository for some of America's most hardened criminals, and plenty of them. Some 150,000 were imprisoned here over the years. Overcrowding and dungeon-like facilities made Mansfield one of the most dreaded places to do time. The population of the prison at any given time usually varied between 2,500 and 3,200. The particular cell block we're in right now, it's been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest freestanding cell block in the world. It's uh, six tiers high. There are 50 cells down each side. They're back to back. So there were 1,200 people in this room, roughly the length of a football field. And during the summertime, it, I'm told that uh, the cells on the top level would become unbearably hot. Likewise, in the wintertime, it wasn't uncommon for ice to skim over in the fixtures on, on the first floor. This building was closed because of uh, certain lawsuits against it as being a cruel and inhumane treatment of prisoners. So consequently, that probably has something to do with the, the spirits that are left behind. More like a torture chamber than a penitentiary, it's no wonder the poor souls who perished at Mansfield are back for revenge. And that's a lot of lost souls. More than 150 prisoners died within these walls. There's all different types of stories about deaths. In the 20s, there was an attempt at an escape. And a prison guard was shot and died. Also talks of several suicides of prisoners, and one of those took place in solitary confinement. One of the tragic tales is from the 50s. A warden who lived here with his family the warden's wife was uh, dressing for church one Sunday. In her room, a uh, firearm had been stored up on a closet shelf. It fell out and discharged accidentally and struck her in the area of the heart, and uh, she died in the local hospital. Many claim to have a rapport with Helen. Yeah, they say she's still here in the building. Visit Mansfield, and you may be greeted by the spirit of the warden's wife as she wanders the hall of the administrative building where she lived. And maybe Helen will introduce you to some of her phantom friends. Ghost experts know Mansfield as a hotbed of supernatural phenomena. I just felt like there was a man standing or like staring at me. Yeah. It was right there at me, yeah. We went down in the basement, and in the dark, uh, someone sets off a flash. And in the corner of the basement in the room we're in, I see the figure of a young boy leaning into the corner. And I didn't say a word to anybody. One person next to me had a flashlight, uh, and I said, shine your flashlight over there in that corner. And of course, there's nothing there. Person on the other side of me says, oh, did you see him too? It is definitely more overwhelming than what I ever imagined. Another chilling night in Mansfield, the scariest slammer on earth. Come visit if you dare.